Hello everyone, Livy here, back with another unboxing. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised I'm able to do another one so soon, but I was surprised with a Kickstarter deck that um, I ordered a little bit ago and it finally, finally, finally got to me. This is the Dreams Visions Tarot 2nd Edition. Um, it looks like... Vermilion um, is the little company that I guess is doing the second edition. I don't know who did the first edition. I don't know. Um, it is time to unbox this. Oof. Wow. Oh, I've been so excited for this. See, illustrated and designed. Awaken your inner knowledge with the 78 cards. Unlock your own visionary power. See and feel what is ready inside of you. I am so excited about this. I first so I first saw the first edition of this deck with um who was it? I think it actually was Lisa Pepez. I don't remember what video it was, but she was doing a video that featured the first edition in with it and I was so excited but then I got really sad when I realized oh yeah there's no um what's it called uh the first addict uh, the first edition wow I can't even talk today the first edition was sold out so I was like oh no I'm never gonna be able to have this deck but then I saw that it was on kickstarter for the second edition and then I got very 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 excited so finally I have this in front of me wow look at the colors of this I'm sorry this is stunning um ooh. uh this deck the reason why I'm really excited about this deck is that this one for me is going to be what I think some people get out of what is it called mystic Mondays tarot um this has the same kind of bright colors. It's reminiscent of Lisa Frank, but it's just done in a different way. And so I'm excited for that. Um, this is the, ooh, I think I heard that the first edition might not have had this or not as comprehensive as this. So let's check this out first. Um, ooh, okay, this is about the creator, Emma. Oh, I don't want to butcher her last name. Shang, I think is how you say that. Um Award winning designer, artist, certified remote spirit release therapy medium, and a tarot reader. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so let's look at the guidebook a little bit. Second edition. Oh, okay, so it gives you info about each of them. It looks like, oh, so the court cards are separate, and then it goes into the regular uh, minor arcana suits. I'm just, oh, okay. Oh, fascinating. So it gives the Astrological Association too. And it, it's a pretty good sized chunk of um, information about each card. So I like that. Which means this could work, theoretically, this could work for beginners. Although it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have keywords that I know a lot of. Oh, Oh, that's interesting. It has the degrees. I don't know much about the degrees, but um, that's really interesting. I was trying to see if there were any. Uh, no. Yeah, no spreads, though. So that's the only thing. If you if you needed a spread in this, you wouldn't get it. But this is pretty good. Um, let's push that to the side. Put this back in here. <laughs> and let's look at the cards. So... Oh, oh yes. Oh my goodness. Look at those backs. Look at those backs. They are so pretty and so subtle. I really like this. The edging is... Ooh. Okay. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this edging because... Well, for one, it's a matte blue, right? So it's not, like, gilded, which means it won't... It, in theory, it shouldn't do weird chipping, right? So this is really nice. It's got some 
Do you guys see that? There's like some dots. I don't know what that's from, but that's okay. Um, it's got a little bit of that, but other than that, it's really nice. It feels nice. Backs are beautiful for the second edition. And okay, my understanding, because again, I don't have the first edition, is the biggest difference from this one to that one is the orientation of the um, titles. I think it used to do this weird thing where it would um, flip from being either on top or below. But Emma tried to make it so that um, each title is dynamic more now. So like it goes with whatever the background is. So I'm really interested to see how that plays out. This is our beautiful fool card. Look at our little fool. Oh, wow. Even if I go closer, look at, can you see the detail on him or them? I don't know. You can't really tell if it's a boy or if, if they're non-binary on this, but I like that with the little doggo. The cardstock is, um, it is on the thicker side, actually, despite the matte gilding or edging. Maybe it was just edged that way. Um, it is a little bit on the thicker side. This deck is a little chunky, but I like the texture. This deck is very um, smooth, but it's not, as you can see, it's not like glossy, really. It might just be a little, you might see a little something because I put, <laughs> I had to put, <gasps> ooh, what is that? Maybe it is something coming. No, I think that's from me. Um, <laughs> I put lotion on my hands, so I don't think that's from the deck. No, now I'm looking at my hands. No, I don't think it's from the deck. Um, <laughs> sorry. Brief, brief fixation. Um, it is a little thicker, but I like it. I don't know how well this would do for people who riffle shuffle, but I don't. So, yeah. Okay, so that's our fool. The magician. This one, I'm not sure if I like. Is that a. Oh, never mind. That was some weird particle. I don't know if I like the placement of this magician title right there. I think it could have been done pretty easily up there, maybe. But that's okay. This is the magician. Really cool. Still has, you know, kind of the as above, so below. You know, for those who like the traditional imagery, this has it. Now, this is kind of cool, the formatting, the high priestess. I like this. Wow, and look at her little, I don't know what that's supposed to be, like a wand or something. It's shining. That's so cool. So beautiful. This is the empress. Yes, this formatting is fine for that one. My only thing, I got to say, I'm not a fan of um, the imagery of like a pregnant emirate empress myself but this is very beautiful so I'm fine with this especially because you can see the light growing inside her womb um this one I'm fine with I'll tolerate this but I don't always like the pregnant um empress personally this is the emperor got that um ram energy Aries I like it whoa this is a cool hierophant. I really like this. Um, like the knowledge coming out of them. And just the look at that. Look at the words. That's actually really cool. I like the effect down here. And just the oh, the day and the night. I mean, the, the day and the night, sorry. <laughs> the lovers, they're beautiful. I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, someone who has a first edition, I believe that this was originally called the Twins, which I actually liked the idea of a lot, but I guess she changed it back to it being just the lovers, probably just to be more beginner friendly, maybe. Oh, the chariot. Interesting that it's in the middle like that. I don't know if I like the, the facing this way, but it is more dynamic. But this is a beautiful card. All these cards, to be honest, all these cards are beautiful. Like, look at, look at the strength. She, or they, I actually kind of like that you can't tell if they're completely, they, they do have characteristics that are like feminine, but you can't say, oh, this is necessarily a woman. Um, at least not to me as someone who's non-binary. So I kind of like that more fem feminine leaning, but look at this little lion. So happy. 
with the Leo constellation in there on their forehead. That is beautiful. Whoa. This, oh, I like that, the way it curves. Um, this hermit is really interesting. The light doesn't do it justice, but like when you're looking at this card, this looks very dark. Like it's almost hard to see the hood of constellations for the hermit. But it's a really cool effect. This is like the darkest hermit I've ever seen. That is so interesting. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, Ouroboros, but kind of more typical. So not my favorite, but it's pretty. Justice. Oh, those hands are kind of interesting. I don't want to give commentary for every card, although this deck is new to me, so I feel like I might talk about it a lot more. This is the Hangman, kind of beautiful looking. I like this. Um, not really different from what I've seen. Now, this death is cool, though. The snake coming out of the eyes of the school. That's pretty cool. Whoa. This is very... uh. This is an interesting temperance. <laughs> Just a rainbow color scheme. I love rainbows, but I don't know if this fits the vibe of temperance. That's my only thing. I don't know if I like that one as much. The devil. That's cool. Very subtle, but still like dark vice sinister suggestions. The tower. Interesting. It's very, um, I don't know. It's very dreamscape-like. I feel like there could have been something maybe a little more with this. This, But this doesn't seem as scary or as sudden changing, you know, as the card usually means. Star, beautiful. The moon. I don't know. In person, the lighting on this is definitely darker also. Um, which I guess reflects the type of card it is in meaning... You could barely tell that this is a reflection. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this moon yet. I have to sit on this. The sun. Very bright. Interesting. Oh, this is an interesting judgment. Kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> With like the hands coming like that. But at the same time, I kind of like it. By the way, um, so I have small hands. I know I always, I feel like I talk about that for every video. But I like that this, I don't actually know if this is completely tarot size. It almost seems like it's longer than it is wide, which is fine with me. I prefer decks if, if they're going to be, oh, there is stuff coming off on me. What is that? Is it from this deck? Does this deck have a thing or is it just because I put lotion on my hands? That's kind of weird. Um, sorry, <laughs> I was noticing that. This deck is longer though than it is wide. And I prefer that if a deck is going to go big because, again, I'm small of hands. So that's fine with me. And the world. I really like the coloring on this world. Really beautiful. Okay. The aces, um, I'm gonna give me, or not aces, sorry, the wands, um, sorry, give me a second. Okay, now, this deck, you guys might, if you've seen some of my videos, you might know my feelings about pips. I'm not a fan of them, but I looked in advance to see the way that these were illustrated, and I think they're gonna be fine for me, because there's some dynamic movement to them. Except this one. But I like the color scheme of that. You get it's the fiery wands. The two of wands. This is a really cool card. I love that. Three of wands. You still get the sense that there's a journey. Right? Four of wands. You get the idea there's some kind of marriage still combining together so again why I can tolerate this five of wands you can tell there's conflict here you know what I mean like there's still 
they're kind of pippish, but they're done in a way that you can tell this is still victory. You know what I mean? Like, this works for me. This is fine for me. I can, this is more traditional, but yeah, I can read this even intuitively like this can still understand the meaning intuitively and this, right? So this is why this deck, I think I knew it was going to work for me essentially. Oh, this page is cute. <laughs> the night. Oh, they kept the black cat. This reminds me of my cat so much. Cow. I think it's cute. I like it. <laughs> and the king. Okay, let's see how the cups are. Oh, that's kind of cool with the bird. I like that. Wow. I love that this harkens back again to like the... The moon and the sun from the other card. This is beautiful. I like the way they're blending together. Still get a sense of friendship from this. The three friends. This also vaguely reminds me of a who is that? Who has three heads? Um, in Greek mythology, that might be... I might be thinking of... Well, okay, I've heard a bunch of people pronounce her name different ways. I've heard Hecate. I've heard Hecate. I've heard like some stuff anyways the goddess of magic um and witches and stuff reminds me of her in this depiction four cups interesting i like this Ooh, the five. Oh, wow this is like a you really feel the sense of the five of cups in this card like look at their face the tragedy there, holding the big bowl while the rest are just like falling apart. Six of cups. Okay. I have a thing about seven of cups. <laughs> I really, for some reason, I like this card, even though this card is kind of conflicting for people um, in general, just it's meaning. I don't know if I like this. Because this doesn't show what the different options they have ahead of them are. I almost kind of wish she had done like a blending of different color choices. At least so it fits with the deck. Or some of these flowers or some of the other imagery inside of here. I think there could have been more with this card. The eight. Oop. The nine. Good sense of joy. See, even some of that imagery inside the uh, the seven could have been interesting. Okay. And you still get a sense of the joy of the rainbow in the ten. That works. Sorry, I feel like I'm just... <laughs> Again, this is the ways that I knew this, this deck was going to work for me. Um, Look at the... Oh, look at the page. I really like this. Look at those fish. Those are so cute. I really like the pages so far. From the stack. I like, oh, <laughs> even this knight has a has the fish. Okay, I kind of like this a lot. This is cute. And I also like that the um the court cards, they follow the same color scheme, so you can see them like getting like the older, older into their craft. Like this is a beautiful uh Queen of Cups. You get the sense of mystery and wonder that kind of harkens back to the the high priestess in this. I really like this. Oh. Even though he, even though this uh, king of cups looks so serious. I kind of like that he has this. They have this little goldfish. The ace of swords. See I don't know if I like that this was done this way. It could have been that way very easily. I don't know if I like the straight up ones. I like the ones that curve though like this. The Two of Swords this is very traditional. This is also obviously more traditional with the swords going through the heart. But I kind of like that's done differently. Like presented differently. You don't see like blood and guts and stuff. It's just very wispy. But still with the color scheme you get the sense of sadness. The, the moon, the crescent. The Four of Swords. Beautiful. I'm sorry. This deck is stunning. 
the color schemes in here and everything, they just get me in the right way. See, again, I don't know if I like the ones that go straight vertical, or I mean vertical, yeah, right? Yeah, vertical. Wait, vertical, horizontal. No, vertical, I'm right. <laughs> me not knowing directions very well. The six, oh, that's kind of cool. They're like floating in the air. That's cool. Uh, the seven. Wow. That's really interesting. What constellation is that? Whoever knows constellations better than me, um, <laughs> let me know what constellation is in the seven of swords. Interesting. Wow. This is a really cool eight. Oh my goodness. This whole deck. I'm sorry. This whole deck is just so beautiful. Nine of Swords. Still get some kind of anxiety coming up for sure. And I like I like that this one's presented a little differently. While things are still bad and it seems like the worst it's ever going to get, you can see the sun coming out the other side to try to lighten how terrible everything's been. That's really nice. This is the page. This is beautiful. I like the butterfly and the color scheme. I'm really a fan of how the quartz are presented. I think this works for me too because I, I think I've talked about this in a different video. I have a hard time with people being in my tarot cards. I don't know. I can't read. I think it, it, for me, I have to be honest, I think for me it's the way my autism presents itself. Um, I don't get as much intuitive hits from cards that just have people in them. Um, but the way that these are presented, they don't make me feel weird and not like being able to read them. Um, so I really appreciate that. Not everybody, not everybody gets understanding and meaning from other people. Um, I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is an interesting queen of swords. I don't know if, the earrings are kind of cool, but I don't know if I like them at the same time for his Queen of Swords, especially with like the loops and other stuff. Hmm. Wow, this is a really severe like King of Swords. I feel like the King of Swords is actually not as bad. I think I always feel like the Queen is the more like kind of, I don't want to say mean, but still mean one usually. But this King looks more severe than her, but usually he... They have more knowledge of how to be careful with one's words. So that's interesting to me. The ace. So just simple. There's no like... It's interesting that they kept ace of pentacles. They could have just said discs since they don't actually have the pentacles in them. But that's interesting. Two. More traditional. Oops. My pile's getting very tall as you can see. <laughs> the three. The four. That's cool. Mm, five. Oops. There, some of them are sticking a little. Six. I don't know if this gives me generous vibes, though. That's But it's a beautiful imagery. Seven of pentacles. Love the colors of this one. The eight, I like that this is a different eight. Um, it's showing, this looks like they're cooking or something. Um, and But they're still a hard worker nonetheless. I really, oh wait, no, maybe they're not cooking, sorry. Oh, they are still like hard at work, maybe. I almost thought they were cooking, that would have been cool. Never mind, but still beautiful. I like the way it looks. Um... The nine with the bird. That's really interesting. I don't remember if the traditional has a bird. I don't, again, I don't own a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, so I'm not 100% on that. Um, Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if I get a sense of legacy in this card, but it's still beautiful. This page is beautiful. All the pages have been really nicely done. The night, definitely more hardworking. This actually harkens back to 
obviously the eight of pentacles, but really interesting. Ooh, this is a good queen. Oh, the bunny. <laughs> the bunny in the corner. I like that. And finally, the king. Really nice. Overall, I have to say, I like this deck. It's got some, I'll just have to sit with that and clean some of it up. I don't know if it's from the packaging or what. It's got some weird stuff going on a little bit on the sides. Um, it's a solid deck. It feels good. Let's see how, I again, I don't riffle, so let's see how it overhands. Hmm, interesting. It's kind of clumping a little bit, but I think it's because of, again, there's something going on with, like, the cardstock. It might just because it's really new and it was, like, packaged really tight and I haven't gotten it much because it, it doesn't feel like it should have issues with shuffling later on, but it is sticking right now. It might just be because it needs to be broken in more. I don't know how well that means and it would do for people who riffle shuffle once again, but this is just what I'm noticing. But I'm really obsessed with these edges. They go so good with the with the backs. Um, overall, I'm really happy with this deck. I can't wait to um, work with it more and see what it can do for my practice. It's a really good intuitive reader if you know the writer Wade Smith um, meanings. So yeah, um, if there's still a chance for you guys to get the second of this edition of this deck, go ahead and get it now if you want it. Um, I think they, Vermilion, I think that's um, Senjia, the same people who did the um, Monsoon Tarot that I have. They would have it on their website, but I'll try to link it back down below. I'm pretty sure I saw it for this. This is the Kickstarter um, edition, it, but it should be the same. It didn't come with any other goodies, so I'm assuming there's, no, there's not going to be a difference if you buy it from their website. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked this. And I will see you all next time. Bye.